In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be taking you inside my mind as I play a full online match of Madden 21. Kind of break down what I'm seeing, what I'm thinking, why I'm doing what I'm doing, and hopefully you can learn from some of my mistakes and some of my failures uh, in today's game. Now, for those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, my YouTube channel is all about helping you get better at Madden NFL 21. I do that through different tips and strategies that I post on YouTube every single day. We post YouTube videos at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time every single day, and we also uh, live stream every single night. Uh, for our YouTube channel. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so coming out here, uh, I'm going to start out with my I'm running my 46, um, my 46 uh, defensive ebook, and I'm running my New England Patriots offensive ebook uh, in this game, uh, which you can pick both of those up in the description of this video. But what I want to talk about here, as you see here, just kind of come out and start in that nickel 335 wide. Uh, what I love about the 46 playbook the most is that you can go from 335 to nickel normal to uh, nickel 335 wide. Uh, looks like this guy is going to be running some uh, New England on me as well. You see here coming out in U trips. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see kind of what his approach is. Uh, we know from U trips, you got to watch out for some of the different post routes um, and different things that the defense can or the offense can approach you with with that. Uh, so just kind of kind of take a look here. Looks like he's going to go through a little high low read to Julio Jones and get out and start with that. Uh, one of the other things I like to do with this three three five normal um, is just different fronts that you can create uh, that we talk about in the ebook. Uh, but you'll see right here, I'm going to go to kind of a cover zero look, but it's really not going to be cover zero. We're actually going to be in cover four. And uh, what you'll see here is this gives us a decent. Um, I've kind of been testing this out. This is a decent run defense. I wouldn't say it's necessarily great, um, but it's decent against a lot of the under center runs that you'll see um, people use. And I don't know if that was a delay fade or not, but that was a really nice little route, I think, to the side. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So defensively, um, first drive, what am I trying to accomplish? Basically, what I'm trying to accomplish is I'm trying to kind of keep everything in front of me. Uh, and really just kind of make him, you know, force him to have to drive up and down the field, see what he likes to do, what routes does he go to. He showed me a little high-low on the right side. Um, might go back to that. There it is again. There's that high-low. Uh, so I'm going to kind of drift on there. Um, looks like he's going to get him to force one up, and we're going to take that and uh, Ed Reed. And see, the biggest thing on defense I think that people have to understand is you're trying to get your opponent to make a mistake. <laughs> And so if you play disciplined defense on the first drive, oftentimes you will get them to make a mistake. There he goes to a read that was clearly in double coverage. So uh, what we're going to be doing on offense is we are going to be running our version of the same book. This is our New England Patriots guide. Uh, this guy just came out on my YouTube channel. If you have not picked it up yet, you could shoot me a text message. I have a free uh, one-hour sample formation for you from the ebook itself uh, that will go over some really good material for you from the ace slot offset that's kind of our preview formation but this this uh guide features over uh 36 formations with over 300 pages of material so it's a beast of a guide um and it really does in my opinion really do a great job of breaking down everything that you can do from this playbook uh red zone schemes um different things like that as well so one of the things that we're going to do um on our end of the our, our on our end is kind of see what he's doing now you notice here he's got an inside stuff ability uh, that's why he was able to do what he just did so what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna go to uh, just a simple flood concept here on this left side of the field and just see what he's doing on that looks like he is running cover two um, and Chad Johnson ends up making a nice little catch there but I should have put him on a fade but I was running a little bit short on time so it looks like he is running cover two on that left side. What I'll be interested to see is if he's Mabel coverage. And you see that slot move to the right. This now brings um, gives me an opening to throw this bubble screen. So we're just going to simply, um, you know, I love that little bubble screen. And that's part of the reason I think the New England Patriots trips um, is so powerful. But you can also, what I like about New England is I can go to, a, I can go to several different formations um, from the New England playbook as well you know, on top of everything that I'm already doing. So uh, here we're going to go to Pat's sale and just kind of see, you know, what he's doing on that outside. He ends up leaving the streak wide open. And we're going to be able to get that over the top uh, for a nice little quick hitting uh, play. Offense does its job, goes down and scores. Defense does its job and contains. 
and we are off to a really, really good start in this game. I love to make sure, and this is real quick for anyone that ever watches me play Madden, one of the pieces of, pieces of advice that I want to give you is you want to always be sure to kick um, at, as your uh, coin toss option. You never want the ball first in a Madden game because you can take advantage of all of the it's going to allow you to be much, much more effective as for, in terms of your possession management. And you're just going to be, it's just a better solution. It gives you the opportunity to oftentimes double up at the end of a half where you go down and you score a field goal or a touchdown and then you come back out and you get the ball at half and are able to then obviously drive down and potentially score another touchdown, which would give you a two possession swing. Um, and that two possession swing is so, so powerful in this game. Um, so we're going to stick with this cover four and just kind of see what he does. He might go to run. He might go to that delay fade of the tight end he was running. Uh, I think that was from a slot offset. So what we're basically just trying to do is kind of catalog what we see him doing. There he kind of makes a bad read, in my opinion. We didn't do a great job of working it. That should have been an interception. I think he was kind of thinking we would drop back. So we'll kind of, you know, kind of tailor that back into our mind. Uh, in my opinion, that should have been a pick, but that's okay. Now, out of the run defense of this, I like to back off. I basically like to make myself into the free safety and have decent gap integrity here. Um, looks like he's going to bring that crossing route back to the look, that right side, which is a good read by him. And I think, I don't know if he flipped the, did he, I can't remember if he flipped trips. I think he did flip the trips. Uh, we'll see here where he goes here. Yeah, he did not. He did not flip because the tight end was on that side. So uh, what I'm trying to see is does he flip to the wide side or does he just stay in it? Um, that that determines a little bit about what different types of routes that he's going to run. Uh, so I just got to kind of watch the running back, see what he's doing. I think that last play he threw him on a little in route. But really what we've seen is a lot of like just deep floods. Here's a nice little motion to the left side. And we're going to take that. And Night Train Lane's going to take that back for six. That's a huge play. Um, I really like Cloud Flats. I think Cloud Flats play the best out of any of the flat zones. Um, just default. So I actually really um, have gotten a lot of bang out of my cloud flat buck, if you will. Um, yes, they don't stop everything, but I think they just kind of play, you know, fairly well against some of those things if they don't use the right route combinations right there. He's not pulling those cloud flats with anything that's going to pull those zones out of the way. And so those cloud flats are able to come down and play some of those crossing routes um, as the play develops. Part of, part of that's on him for running, I think, a bad route combination. But also, I think some of that is the fact that the cloud flats um, just left on default because they get deeper than curl flats do off of a default alignment. Um, I think it does a little bit better of a job. So that's why I like to kind of start out, you know, in cloud flats and just kind of see uh, what he does. Now, uh, he's kind of shifting his strategy here. He's going to go to gun bunch. Uh, against gun bunch, what I like to do is I actually like to go cover two. Uh, for the most part, Let's see what he does here. He's gonna throw it back across his body. What is interesting is his, is the amount of like rolling out he's doing. So I have to kind of pay a little bit of attention to that as well. Um, now he does like to roll out to his right. So what we're gonna do is kind of send a little bit of a delay blitz uh, off the right side here uh, and just see how this goes. Just to try to kind of contain that rollout a little bit. You know, just kind of keep him. And there he goes flat to the left side. All right, that's a good read. And like you see there, I mean, like if he pulls that cloud flat with a corner route, then it makes sense that that cloud flat comes back, which is fine. Uh, right here, we're going to play hard flats and just kind of let him honestly just kind of see what happens here. There should be a lot of openings if he gets time in the pocket. There, he doesn't have that flat route. I don't know how he didn't get an interception on that play, but we weren't able to get our feet down. What you're notice is he's not running a flat route to pull that hard flat down. So that hard flat on the outside is able just to basically drop back and play because I think he ran a drag route underneath that. And that was critical for the offense. Uh, here goes to a little fake fullback. He'll probably quit out after this play. Uh, but hopefully what you saw was good, I think, really solid defense um, and a very efficient offensive drive today in today's uh, little video inside the mind. But that's kind of what was going through my head in this video. Now, if you have not already got the New England Patriots um, ebook, I would highly encourage you to get it. It is a phenomenal guide. It's in the description. All you got to do to pick up that sample formation is just shoot me a um, just shoot me a text message. And uh, my number is in the description of this video. So you guys can easily be able to do that. 
Um, it's also in the top left hand corner of your screen. So shoot me a text message. I'll shoot you both that sample formation and I'll also shoot you the rest of the videos from our text message membership, um, which are really, really good videos. Basically what those videos are is those are videos where I break down some kind of exclusive high level Madden um, scheme or tip or concept for you every single week in my text message membership. Those are completely free to get. You just have to text me to get them. Nobody else gets them. Unless you text me, you won't be able to get the video. And like you said, every week I just sit down and I will uh, go over some kind of big thing, whether it be we did a whole guide on the gun bunch. We did a whole guide on the big nickel over G. We did a whole guide on uh, the, the, sing the single back trio. So different things like that. So if you want to get access to those materials, just shoot me a text message. Let me know um, you'd like to receive them and we'll shoot you a text back uh, with all of the videos. And those videos do continue to update um, throughout the course of the season. We update it every single week. It's kind of like sub tips, but I think a little bit better. So, uh, and, and it's free, so which is nice. But anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you thought. If you guys enjoy these gameplays, if you wouldn't mind leaving me a like rating and letting me know in the comments that you like these gameplays, you like seeing what's going on kind of um, in a gameplay, what, what's going through my head um, as I'm playing Madden. I would love to be able to break down more of these. But if you're not interested, no problem. Uh, just let me know kind of what you thought of the gameplay. And we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. So I will see you guys in a few short hours and we, if you want to come on and play Madden, um, there's a way to do that. Basically, all you got to do is come to the stream and let me know or just shoot me a text so we can set up a game. Or if you just want to come by and hang out and talk in the chat, we answer your questions live every single night uh, here on our YouTube channel at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you guys so much for your time and your support. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 o'clock.